Welcome Capricorn Aquarius to your mid-month reading for July. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Getting straight in here to your energy and what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you for the mid-month. coming out. Wow. Upside down. In reverse, it's talking about realizations, vulnerabilities. Um, you might have somebody around you who makes you feel a little vulnerable. Um, definitely improvement, no matter what. Improving the situation. Feeling like you're in a better spot. Even if you still are feeling a little vulnerable, at least it's, you know, there is a lot of realization and um, improvement. So that's always a good thing. So clarifying on the devil over here, this card's not only going to clarify on the devil, but the entire reading. Ooh. Choose wisely. Mm. So within this realization, improvement, however it is for you, my friends, um, just really having that energy there, there is a lot of choosing wisely to keep yourself out of whatever was causing the problem to begin with, um, whether it was um, keeping away from the, vulner uh, the vulnerabilities of this other person's situation, um, continuing on with improvement. Could be dealing with a another Capricorn, um, doesn't have to be. Okay, actually, I think I'll use these cards again. Okay, so getting straight into the situation. Not allowing chains to be around your ankles, realizing that maybe they're holding you back. Something's holding you back from Maybe a better path for you. See that? Okay, getting into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, recent past, and the near future. You have solitude. It's taking some time to have the realizations through reflections, through taking some withdrawal and time out for yourself to get clear about things. Uh, disconnect and boredom over here. Feeling like there was a disconnect in the past. Um, discontent and disconnect. I It says discontent, but I'm really feeling there's a disconnection as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, the disconne uh, discontent really makes me feel like you really were disconnecting. Um, either the two of you were disconnecting or you disconnected from the situation. Doesn't matter. It's the Four of Cups, so it's the same, right? It's like, yeah, you know what? I'm not happy, and I am, you know, pretty much kind of moving away from you. Maybe even felt them moving away from you as well. And then you have the Devil again. So now, where you're, it feels like you're trying to choose wisely to get away from um, whatever chaos, overwhelming situations that are going on which just feels wrong, right? For some of you, it might even, maybe this person drinks. Maybe you're trying to get away from them because they do drink. They have too much temptation. Maybe they're tempting you to drink with them. Um, take it how it resonates, everybody's story is different. But it does feel like the temptation is trying to come back into the situation. It could be them trying to come back into the situation. I also have Virgo over here. So it could be a Virgo <laughs> that you're dealing with. Let's get into here and see what's going on in the recent past. Clarify on the four of cups in the recent past. And tell us also why they got into the realization and made them withdraw so two in one place. Ooh, we have a better understanding of what's going on. There's a lot of lives. Wow. Wow. I just heard that like right out of the bat. There, there's lies. Like, wow. 
Oh, you know, I mean, no wonder the devil is here. The lies are surreal. Hiding. I feel like a lot of hiding in the shadows as well with these lies. No wonder there's a disconnect. It's kind of hard to connect with someone when they're hiding in the shadows and they're lying. I'm just going to say hide in the shadows. I take that how you how that resonates for you. Maybe it's like wearing a false mask, you know, pretending to be someone that they're not. Hiding out. Maybe they're hiding that they're drinking. I don't know. It's for someone. Maybe they're smoking and toking it up when they're not supposed to be. Drinking, something like this. I just feel like they're kind of hiding out. Doing so for some of you. It gets you, it brings in this anxiety though within you because it's like you know in the past that they were doing this. They can hide out all they want. They can lie to you all you want. But it really causes this anxiety because you know the truth. No wonder you pulled back. No wonder there's discontent. And maybe they even act different. I feel like they go from being this great German shepherd, as it shows in the picture, to this wolf. And that's why it really feels like the hiding out. Wearing a false mask could be a huge thing. So you know that it, you know, because when they come back, maybe they're different. Or when they hide out or go away, you know what they're doing. They're doing something bad, right? And then you know they're going to come back and tell lies. Something like this. This is really what I'm picking up. It's going to be a little different for everybody, but that's really what I see. And of course it causes you anxiety. It's because you're already getting ready for it. Especially if they, I mean, are they one of those weekend warrior type of people who take off and they don't come back until Sunday night and, you know, take off Friday after work or, or just take off Friday and don't come back till Sunday evening and then just want to, I don't know, sleep or do something. They might be party animals. Maybe that's where you have all the animals. And it gives you... And then they lie about it, right? I don't know, guys. That's for someone. But they're, look at that, they're guilty. Wow, are they guilty. So yeah, I can see this disconnect. Now I feel why I, I heard the word disconnect, felt the disconnect. And this gives you total discontent. It makes you not happy at all. Okay. And remember, whatever doesn't resonate with you, you can throw it away. Because like I said, everybody has their own story, you know. But however it is, you know, I mean, it's got to be somewhere close to that, right? Somehow, some way, somewhere, <laughs> you know. It's like, yeah, you know. I mean, and remember, if it's not your story at all, you know, you can always go watch your regular Cap Capricorn or Aquarius, uh, Rising, Moon, or Venus. Um, but wow. So no wonder, now you're withdrawn withdrawn because it feels like it just continues and continues and so I, what I feel is in the past they were this and this is why you're here having the realizations of the bad behavior we will say their temptations um however um yeah so you're going into this solitude and withdrawal And even, you know, I even feel like for some of you, it's maybe they with, maybe, maybe they said they were done. Maybe they said they were done and they withdrew. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. I have, you know, like I said, even maybe another Capricorn, maybe some earth sign, but maybe they withdrew. Maybe they told you they're done. This was on the past and maybe they, and you have the realizations, okay, we're going to choose this wisely. I have the realizations that I'm breaking the chains. Maybe they did too. Maybe for some of you, they said, okay, I'm done. And then they go back and do it again. Maybe you're choosing wisely to say, hey, you know what? I don't know if I want to stay here because I have the realizations. Maybe they've done this before. Maybe they go on this huge drinking spree or, or lying spree or whatever the spree is. For some of you, and then they say, well, I'm done for a while. This makes you go into a withdrawal, and then they are also in a withdrawal, meaning they're done. But it's making you think, okay, well, what if they do it again? Or if you say this, and then you do it again? Hmm.
Yeah. They're saying there's hope. There's a withdrawal. There seems like there's hope. You're having the realizations. But I do feel like maybe you know they're vulnerable to go back to the, maybe that's where the vulnerability is, is that they're getting ready to go back. And maybe some of you, it's you drinking. Maybe it's you, you know, causing your, and it would just be kind of like you kind of causing your own misery um, from your own habit, right? We can't can't knock that one out, right? Because there's going to be someone out there that's like, it's me. I can't stay away from it. You know, I'm, I'm really battling. And that's, it happens. Happens with everybody. So there could be hope. So just continuing. No matter who it is. Because the crosswalk should say it was them. And you could say it was me. <clears throat> However, there is hope, and it feels like with the withdrawal, the going in, having the realizations of the situation, however it is, there's this hope that it feels more hopeful right now, and it feels like you need to choose wisely. It felt like over here you need to choose wisely um, about the situation. You need to take a step back. Because no matter what it is, it doesn't feel like it makes you happy no matter what it is, right? Because of the weakness. And it does feel like there's a weakness. On whoever's part. It, it, you know, and it's like I'm going back into solitude to get past the weakness. To make m myself strong. And like I said, for some of you, it could be them too. Who's going in and you're seeing them being more hopeful. You see that they're weak and vulnerable to the situation. Hope again. So it's almost like they see as, as hope. I'm just going to, they see hope, you see hope from the weakness. So you're trying to choose wisely and trying to hold tight and take control of the situation. You might even be seeing them trying to take control of this habit that they have. Having the realizations, a lot of Capricorn up here, having the realizations that, you know, you can, you or them or both of you can pull forward whoever's, you know, the main component. <clears throat> so it does look like you're trying to work through this, having realizations, trying to work through the situation. You might even have another person over here. Maybe you guys are trying to get counseling to do this. Maybe you have a friend there trying to help, family member. It does feel like there could be another person here trying to bring the hope. Um, yeah, because this is causing depression, loneliness. I think for some of you, there's somebody who has a drinking problem. <clears throat> and you're really trying to fight, fight it. Or they're trying to fight it, however. Trying to stay strong and be supportive. And I think that maybe the third party is this, this um, Aries Sagittarius or this um, Leo that's coming in. This is Sagittarius Aries card. Maybe they're trying to pull. I have Leo here. That, that could even be a Leo. <clears throat> trying to pull you out. Trying to support you. Trying to be the loyal friend. Maybe it's you trying to be loyal to them. Maybe they're trying to be loyal to you. Who knows, right? However this is, general readings, it's hard to say sometimes, right? Um, but I'm telling you that it does feel because you have three here. So I would go to say that it could be, what do we got here? Gemini. It could be you and a Gemini or another, or Virgo, another earth sign. It feels like you and another earth sign for the majority of you. And then you have this fire sign who's trying to support you. We're just going to leave it that way. Doesn't have to be any of those. Yeah, because it's become the adversary. This is their adversary. This, whatever this temptation is, it's their adversary. It's theirs. Maybe they're even in a third party situation for some of you. And they've pulled away from that and they want to get hopeful. But there's just so much damage. There's a lot of damage over here. It almost feels like with the control card over here, I just want to say like damage control, right? But it knows that this is the adversary. There is an adversary here. 
whatever the temptation is. And you're having the realization this is our worst enemy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to move swiftly right now towards dreams and goals and that hope and the promises and trying to take the choose wisely. Which way are we going to go? How are we going to do this? We have the realization that this is our enemy. This is what causes depression. This is what keeps us in discontent. This is what keeps us disconnected. Um, and so it does feel like this is what keeps a weakness towards either myself or me bound up or us bound up. But at least with the star card, it's almost like if we choose wisely, we can have hopes, promises, and dreams. Okay. But then the temptation comes back. Oh, oh gosh. I'll well, drink some water. <coughs> Hold on, guys. Wow. Yeah, because, I mean, we already knew it was there. Right, but then when the story keeps going, it's like, no, because look at all the hopes and the promises. Look at how far we've, we are trying to accomplish. And this is going to be like in the next two weeks, you know, maybe a month from now. It's hard to say. But the point is, and I just hope you fight this. Please fight this or let them fight this or whoever needs to fight this. This is fight, fight, fight. I don't know. It just feels like this is the battle from the devil himself, right? Okay. So we got the temptation. So somebody's tempted. Whoever the person is, the, here comes the temptation again. It's like the devil's whispering into your ear saying, go ahead and have that drink. Have this. Have that. And it's the king of swords. Um, it could be, like I said, it could be yourself, guys. For some of you. However, or your loved one, the person that you love the most, right? Whatever. But the point is, is it's almost like the good thing. Here comes the good thing, though. I'm going to tell you the good thing. Yeah. The king of swords says, I know. I have the logical thinking. I, I know that the devil's trying to get me to do this. I'm just going to say it that way, right? I know that this wants to come and do it all over again. I know that it's trying to start up again. But at least the good thing is, is here we go. You are in the knowing. You do know. And I'm telling you, it's you. It's you who knows that this is starting up again. You're in the knowing. And if it's them, it could also be them saying, I, I know that this is starting up again. Maybe they're going to come to you and say, I know this is starting up again. I don't want this to happen. Oh my gosh, please tell me it doesn't want to happen. Because if you can sit in the knowing and say, I know, and I'm trying to choose wisely. And I'm choosing wisely. I know the directions that could happen here. Page of Swords, learning, knowing. It's almost like you know the lessons learned, or they know the lessons learned. There's a learning. There's an understanding. Patiently planning and determined. Determined to get away from it. You, there's a determination to try to back away from it. It's going to take a lot of strength, though. A lot of strength. Look at the strength that you have to have, you know? Look at the strength that they have to have. Look at that strength. Ten of Wands. This is the ultimate dimmer. Look at it. This is like bowing down and saying, oh, God, help me. Not again, right? And maybe they're partying with another Aquarius, a Gemini, you know, or maybe you are. Whoever, maybe they're, maybe that's where the third party is as well. Maybe you have this person, the Sagittarius that comes in to help you. Maybe you have this other person who wants to party with you. Maybe they're the ones that go out, however, or them or whatever. And, um, but there is this term, determination and it's like you or them or whoever this is, is bowing down saying, God, no, help me. That's really what that is. Look at that. Resistance. Trying to resist so hard. Right. Patiently planning to get away from that. Trying to take your or their um, overall strength.
That would be the independence away from it, not allowing it to be dependable on them or you, right? You guys are really going to have to take this one as it resonates because I really don't see, um, because your cards keep popping up so much and your energy's in this so much, It's I know that there's someone out here who has, who has it's them. So please guys, just work with me on this one, okay? Because I know for some of you, it's another person, but for some of you, it is literally you. Okay, so I'm trying to do both. <clears throat> But there is this strong independence, and that's exactly what's needed. Okay, the strong independence is what's going to be needed to keep out of the devil energy. That's a tough one. Okay. And just, you know, keep going strong. See what the angels have to say? Fight, fight, fight like hell. That's, you know. I've had my own dependencies when I was younger. Alcohol, you know. Done it, been there. And it is, you know. So you guys can do this. Big, happy changes. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Use this, use this, and remember, you know. And if it's your partner and you're trying to help them, you guys fight like hell together, you know. And then for somebody, it's going to be so horrible because they're going to be like, it's just destroying the relationship. I don't know if I should choose wisely to get the hell out or if I should stay to help them. And it's hard, right? Because look at the lies, the deceits, the you running around, playing in shadows, you know? Man, you know, it's a, for some of you, you're like, let it go. Yeah, I got to bail because I can't put up with that anymore. And that would be super understandable. If you need to fight like hell to get out, do it, right? Because you can't do it anymore. For some of you, there's going to be a compromise, you know, be assertive. And for those of you who are actually, this is your reading for yourself and you are fighting like hell, be assertive, my friends. Be assertive. Fight. Fight the good fight for yourself. You got this. Okay? Because you're ready. No matter what the circumstances is, on whose part it is, you're ready. Okay? And I am sending peace and love to each and every one of you and sending you angel love and guidance along the way. Until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.